All right, I just finished replacing the weather seal on the bottom of this. Uh, the old ones were cracked and messed up. But what I'm interested in is uh, in the winter time when the ice builds up in certain areas, the garage door doesn't seal properly. So it just pretty much sits flush. So what I'm thinking is maybe we can fill that void with something. Perhaps cut down one of these noodles. So I'm going to cut a couple test pieces and kind of see how it works uh, with just the two ends in there. And uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. All right, so I took and I cut pool noodle into thirds, and from here to here, it's approximately three quarters of an inch. So basically what I did was I just took it and I smashed it in here like that. I'm gonna do one on both sides, and then I'm gonna test to see if the door closes properly and there's no issues. And if that looks like it's the case, uh, then we'll do the whole length. All right, so the garage door looks like it closed just fine. Uh, I got one over here, one over there. I think it's gonna work. Um, so I'm gonna go down, cut a nine foot length and slide it in there and we'll see what happens. All right. It's gonna be difficult with the camera, but basically what we're gonna do is do a straight line. Good enough, don't gotta be perfect, but move on to cutting it. And we're gonna just gonna use our template right here and make the second cut. Okay, the template's approximately two inches, so I'm just gonna go two inches in and then make the next cut. Okay, so I cut the pool noodle and then I measured two and a quarter inches not two inches like I told you before and then just did a bunch of marks all the way down here and then I'm just gonna freehand it and that should give us a relatively um, close piece to what we mocked up for the test pieces so let's cut that and see how it goes and then we'll test the fit I would recommend using a sharp razor blade but yeah you should basically be ended up end up with something like this same shape okay what I'm noticing is um, the profile it's too wide to, what I'd like to do is I'd like to just be able to slide it in so the test pieces I compressed um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lop off from here to here so basically we're, we're left to the square here so let me do that and then we'll test it again. Okay, so I just lopped off one side and it looks like it's gonna slip in. So let's see if we can get it pushed all the way through. Looks like I'm probably gonna need two of these to do this nine foot door. Yeah, we get we get in about a foot. I, I think maybe ideally this this size would have been perfect if I put it in when I replace the seal. Um, but I think I'm going to do a little bit more trimming because it does. I mean, my my cuts aren't perfect, so I'm going to trim off a little bit. See if I can get it get it to go in a little easier. All right. So the final dimensions. 
are just over three quarters of an inch. So you're probably asking, why don't you just go to the big box store and get some three quarter inch um, round filler rod. You could definitely do that, but I don't really want to spend 40 bucks to do both my garage doors when I have a couple pool noodles sitting at home that we paid 99 cents for each of them. Now to make the next one. All right, on the second cut, did the same thing. Three quarters of an inch, but this time instead of doing two and a quarter, I only did about an inch, approximately. I mean, this isn't gonna be exact, but yeah, should fit in. We'll just trim that off and test it out and see how it does. All right, I know it's hard to tell, but normally this seal would be completely smashed. And you can see over on the right how the concrete's a little raised. It's a little more smashed on that side, and we have nice perfect gaps. So we'll see what happens in the wintertime uh, when we get ice here. And it, you know, this is where the snowblower sits, so I always get ice build up, and uh, we'll see if it helps protect and keep all the drafts out. I'm going to move on to the 16 foot door now. Let's see if we can simulate a gap. I'm pretty sure this is going to trip the garage door opener, but we'll find out. Well, a little bit of an air gap. I don't know, we'll see. I'll have to do a follow up video in uh, like mid January or something like that and see how it's going.